Hogwarts Legacy is just around the corner and boy are we excited to not only hear the release date of the game, but to get more information on what we can expect in Hogwarts Legacy. Today we're going to be talking specifically about 13 spells that are going to be officially part of the game. These are not all the spells that are included in the game, but these are 13 spells we know so far that are going to be in the game. And some of these spells you might already be familiar with from the movies. And of course, if you played any other Harry Potter game, you might be familiar with some of these spells. In addition to that, we're also going to be taking a look at dark magic, but we're also going to be talking about one of the coolest things that you're able to do with spells, which is create combos with them and change the way the spell works. We're going to talk a little bit more about that, but let's get started, of course, guys, with the first spell, one of the most iconic spells, Wingardium Leviosa. Now, this particular spell, guys, you are pretty much familiar with because we have seen this extensively in the movies. And basically what this spell does, it gives the user the ability to lift, suspend, and and move objects through the air and it's one of the core spells to learn for anybody that's a witch or a wizard now this particular spell can be used a lot in combat but i feel like it's going to be heavily reliant when it comes to exploration remember there are a lot of hidden paths within the game a lot of secrets to discover and i'm going to be able to lift objects spend them in the air and also draw them towards you guys it's going to be playing a crucial part to the game so i believe this particular spell will be one of the most used spells in the game the next spell we're going to be taking a look at is called Axio. Now this particular spell, guys, is going to be one of those basic and most useful spells. I think this might be a spell that you might actually start off with default because it's such a heavily used spell. This spell will allow a caster to summon a personal object of their desire, even from a considerable distance. As a quick example of how this spell might be used, do think about it that you're uh, roaming around the world and you need to summon your broom. Then you will use your Axio spell to summon in your broom. To not only travel around the world, but also venture into the bouquets and the mystical puzzles. The next spell we're going to be talking about is called Descendo. Now, this is going to be a very special spell because I believe that this spell is going to be very good when you combo it with other spells. Because what this spell does, it just pretty much does what Descendo means. It means things are going to be descending. And this is going to be a highly effective combat one because what this spell will do, which is a brutal spell, it's going to allow you to slam objects or people down to cause significant amount of damage. So think of us using uh, Liviosa at the same time to levitate people in the air, then casting a Descendo to slam them down in the air, down to the ground. This is actually going to be very cool with those perfect nice combos. And I think this particular one is going to be one of those highly comboed ones that we're going to want to make sure we combo appropriately. The next spell we're going to be talking about, guys, is called Stupefy. Now, this particular spell, guys, if you played any of the previous Harry Potter games, you are very familiar with the spell because this spell is heavily used in those games. Now, what exactly will this spell do? Now, remember, this is a very core-centric spell. Not only is the spell very core-centric, it's that it actually does two things at the same time and will allow you guys to do a lot of really cool stuff and also do a lot of stealth play. Basically, this spell, what it does, it stuns the enemy or can even knock down people unconsciously. This particular spell will be good, especially for combos as well, or for entering specific areas that you do not want to make a lot of noise and don't want to get detected. This is going to be a spell that I think a lot of people are going to have it within their main slot and going to use quite extensively. One of the most interesting spells that we're going to be talking about is called Defindo. Now, this is not a very heavily known spell or not a spell that's very known in the Harry Potter world. This particular spell, we're going to be getting introduced in Hogwarts Legacy, which is going to require perfect precision because Defendo, what it does, it's going to slash or cut at something. And the cool thing about this particular spell is that a lot of people are going to start thinking, okay, well, this spell is going to be very effective when it comes to combat. This is actually going to be very effective for exploration in the world because this could help you open up hidden areas within the map. Remember, there are a lot of ton of hidden areas within Hogwarts Legacy. And having the right spells to open these paths and get through these paths is going to be extremely important. So don't sleep on Defendo. The next spell we're going to be taking a look at is called Expelliarmus. Now this particular spell, guys, is a very iconic spell. Once again, if you played any of the Harry Potter games or you played or you've seen any of the movies, this one is once again making an appearance in Legacy. Now this particular spell is actually very good and I think a lot of us are going to really enjoy this one because basically what this does, it allows you to disarm the person you're fighting against and this is going to be very integral when it comes to duels in Harry Potter. Now remember this, there is no PvP so it's mostly PvE stuff. But being able to fight the AI and taking away their wand and being able to just disarm them completely, can't wait to actually do that. 
The next one we have, guys, is a very iconic and almost unforgettable one called Avacadabra. Now, this particular spell, guys, is one of those unforgivable curse spells, which will also be making an appearance in the game. It's commonly known as the Killing Curse. This spell is going to be extremely lethal, and you can get an idea of how dangerous this spell will be and what type of stuff we will be facing as players and what type of decisions we will be needing to make when we actually get the option or the ability to cast such a dangerous spell. The next spell is called Dissolutionate Charm. Now this is going to be a spell that I think I'm going to be used quite often because I like playing games stealthy and this particular spell will allow me to do that because what this will allow you to do, it's going to allow you to cloak to the environment, allowing you to essentially become invisible, which is really cool and something I would really enjoy. The charm will be definitely used to bypass dangerous foes, explore hidden areas that you definitely do not want to de get detected or alert any enemy, and it's going to give one of the coolest aspects of the game that I want to definitely try out is the element of stealth, something I really would enjoy playing as. The next spell we're going to be taking a look at is Lubus. Now, this particular spell, I believe, is going to be a standard spell. Either we're going to start off default by the spell, it's going to be one of the first spells we actually get our hands on. Now, this particular spell, a lot of you guys should be familiar with this one. If you've seen any Harry Potter movie or watched or played any of the previous games, this allows you to explore areas in dark areas. It allows you to illuminate the area and see stuff that's hidden with the spell, allowing you to bring light where there is no light. So one a very important spell, and I think a lot of us are going to actually be running this, especially when we're trying to discover different paths in different areas and find all the mystery spots in Hogwarts Legacy. The next spell is called Incendio. Of course, if you guys know Spanish, this is pretty much a very common word. That means that you're going to be igniting fire. So this spell, it's going to allow you to use this in combat and also in exploration. Now, this is what makes this spell very potent is the fact that you're going to be able to not only light your way or turn things on fire, but you will also be able to use this in combat and set opponents on fire. This will also allow you guys to go ahead and scare away dangerous flora and fauna that you may encounter in the world. So Incendio will be a very heavily used spell and the one that you want to have within your arsenal. The next spell, guys, I believe to be one of the most important spells within the game called Protego. Now, this particular spell is going to be hugely important in the game, as that's my personal opinion, because what this spell will allow you to do, it's going to like, allow you to have a shield to deflect incoming spells. You'll be able to face intense combat and against really heavy fortified enemies as long as you have this particular spell to be able to deflect any incoming damage or any incoming spells. So I think this particular spell is going to be extremely important and one you want to have within your arsenal. Another spell that's going to be coming very handy is called Reparo. Now this particular word is, means repair in Latin and it's one that's a charm that's used to mend, right? Basically with this particular spell, you're going to be able to repair objects. And in addition to that, once you completely master this and I believe level this up, you'll be able to repair bridges and structures, opening different menus for you to explore and different areas that you might not be able to reach at the beginning early stages of the game. But once you have this particular spell leveled up, you probably will be able to go back to that specific area, maybe repair a bridge, repair a door, or repair anything that was broken to give you access to a specific area. So definitely a very good spell and one that we're definitely going to want to make sure we level up. The next spell is called Petrificus Totalis. Now this particular spell, guys, I love the name of it, but this is a binding spell, which is going to be a very essential spell because this particular spell is going to allow us to freeze victims in place and allow them to make them unmovable. So make think of something that's going to allow you to pretty much apply freeze to anything that's charging at you or coming your way. And this is going to be causing a temporary freeze on the enemies. So when you're doing combat, that's going to be a very effective way for you to freeze them and then get ready for your next spell cast to be able to take them out. Of course, this particular spell is going to be even more potent as you level it up. So do consider leveling up the spell as you will be using it very often. Now you already know the spells that are found in the game. You're definitely going to want to check out this particular video that's popping up right now to find out everything you need to know that you might not know that's coming into the game. So make sure you check out this video right here. It's going over everything you need to know about Hogwarts Legacy. I hope you guys are enjoying our content. If you are doing the huge favor, guys, drop a comment, drop a like, but most importantly, subscribe to the channel, turn on all your notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.